welcome to OBS Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for crafters. I'm Anthony Minnis from Mixed Media, and in the video today, I'm going to be explaining to you some of the system requirements that your computer really needs to run OBS Studio sufficiently. So, if you like the contents of this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to my channel, why not subscribe and hit on the notifications button as well. This will inform you of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Right, without further ado, let's get into those system requirements. Okay, so this is for a computer running Windows and you can see there the important bits are highlighted in red. So it's an Intel 5 processor for the minimum requirement, but the recommended is an i7. My computer is actually running an i7 and I have an NVIDIA GeForce MX150 graphics card on board. Right, so let's actually go into the settings. So go down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen and click on settings. Where you see I've got a blue box, match it with the settings in your OBS studio. So first of all, we're going to go up to general and these are just a couple of things. Uh, show dialog when starting, make sure that one's clicked there and also show confirmation when stopping stream. Scrolling down there, we've got source alignment. This will help you actually align some of the images or video sources that you actually put into there. I'll explain that in another video. We've got enable in system tray and then scrolling down, We've got the studio mode, which again, I will explain in another video. We've also got, got multi view down there, and that's really handy if you've got a touch screen computer. So our next tab we want to click on is video. Okay, so it's a good practice to match the canvas size with the output size. So as you can see, 1920 and 1080 is in HD quality, but for Facebook, 1280 by 720 is perfect. So just match both of those so they both read the same. You've got the downscale filter there, so match that with mine. 25 power will display 25 images per second and is the UK standard for TV broadcasts. So that's one that we're gonna be choosing, so 25 power. Okay, so the next tab we're gonna to go to is the output tab. Once you actually get to the output tab, then you just want to go into the drop down menu there and output mode and go for advanced. Okay, that will bring up this menu here. The encoder is gonna be normally set as default at X.264, but if you've got anything else, then please try that. On mine, I've got QuickSync. That's a dedicated piece of hardware within your computer. Okay, so then we go down to the rescan output. That should be the same as your other video settings. We've got balance there, profile high, keyframe interval three, rate control, CBR, bit rate 2500, latency normal and the B frames as three. Click on the audio there. Just have a look at the audio bit rate. I've got 160 on all of mine. Okay, on the audio here, we've got a sample rate of 44.1 KHZ and stereo for channels. A couple of these things down here are disabled on mine and default, um, but it really just depends what you've actually got plugged into your computer audio wise. Okay, and then finally, we're going to go to the advanced setting. So just show active output warnings there and the process priority is normal. Um, renderer direct 3D11 I've got on mine. Color format NV12, and then scrolling down here, I've got automatic reconnection enabled, uh, 10 seconds there on the retry, and the maximum retry is a 20. Enable browser source hardware acceleration, and never disable hotkeys. Right, so finally we're going to go up to the stream tab there. You've got all the different services there. You've got YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Restream, Twitter, etc. Keep the server as normal. The most important one here is this. Make sure you click on ignore streaming service settings recommendations. And then when you're finally done there, click on apply and click on OK. I hope these settings work for you. If not, it could be that your computer is not quite compatible to be running OBS Studio. But like I say, just give it a go and see what the streaming quality is like. If you like the contents of this video, please click on the like button, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and why not hit on the notifications button as well. This will inform you of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. That's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching.